Look, my role is uh, Shadow Planning Minister and Shadow uh, Public Transport and Shadow Equality, but um, clearly planning is a key focus for the future of our city and it is important that it is linked closely with the uh, tasks of public transport and making sure that we've got sufficient uh, public transport to deal with what is a backlog but also um, a challenge into the future with the population growth that we have today. Uh, 143,000 last year, 147,000 the year before, these are huge increases in our population. A significant challenge for our community, a challenge to keep up with the services but also importantly um, the public transport. And we recognise that what is required is a balanced development of uh, transport options and that means uh, both public transport, it does mean roads and it does mean uh, bike paths and it does mean walking and pedestrian options as well. And we will be focused on all of those with more uh, commentary and more announcements to be made as we move towards the state election, which is about 119 days or so, 120 days, 119 days away. It's actually uh, very close indeed. Um, we support a number of the projects that are currently underway. The Metro, I think, has been uh, botched in many aspects, but the actual concept of the project is something that we support. We did actually have a different option and we thought it was a better option but the fact is the project is being built and the city needs the additional capacity as we go forward. We, um, we also uh, note some of the uh, level crossing removals and began the process of funding and delivering those in government and support the uh, concept of level crossing removals. It's um, Interesting to note with the level crossing removals, the government proceeded without business case and is now massively over budget, more than 60% over budget already on those projects and the metro itself is already uh, in significant um, financial overrun from the early estimates. And um, The importance of this is even a good project can be delivered poorly, can be delivered incompetently and there can be massive blowouts. And those costs are important because they are opportunity costs on how you could use that money uh, for other worthy transport projects and other important um, government projects. I make the point that the, um, the Coalition has announced a number of rail initiatives uh, statewide. Uh, in country Victoria, uh, where we've made quite a number of announcements already and there will be more to come, uh, Shepparton with a doubling of services and an increase in speed, an extension of the line from Maryborough to Donald uh, in the state's northwest, additional services to Ararat, additional uh, focus on Horsham and Hamilton with a study requested by councillors in those areas. Importantly in country Victoria, we've also committed to a full replacement of the long haul country rolling stock, 633 million to replace the clapped out old uh, rolling stock that is, um, some of it was ordered um, back in the late 1970s. So it is well gone and we need a purpose designed long haul uh, fleet. We've made provision for that and we have a clear way forward uh, to deliver that for all of those far flung uh, uh, cities, our important further regional cities, whether they be Wodonga or Warrnambool, we need to bring them closer and that is part of our focus as a state, as an alternate state government on decentralising the state, on taking some of the pressure of population off Melbourne and making us a state of cities, not a great city state in Melbourne with the huge population uh, increase where almost 90% of the population growth is currently going into Melbourne. I also say that in the city we've made recent announcements, not only uh, increased frequency of, um, uh, of trains on our metropolitan network, uh, but importantly duplication of the Hurstbridge line from uh, Greensboro to Eltham and uh, that with a full duplication, not a partial duplication as offered uh, by the, uh, the Labor Party. I note the important announcements of extension of uh, rail lines into Clyde from Cranbourne and also from 
uh, Frankston to Baxter. These are areas of population growth and we're actually trying to get ahead of the curve and actually bring the, um, the suitable public transport into those areas. These are important um, uh, city uh, initiatives and a, a recognition of what is required. We also note the, uh, very much the performance of the state uh, public transport system. Performance on the metropolitan rail system has declined under this government. So whatever the noise, whatever the claims, whatever the, uh, the banter from Labor, the truth of the matter is the performance of the metropolitan uh, train system has declined. The punctuality, the reliability have declined right across the whole system. And when you come to country trains, the V-line trains, the performance is truly staggeringly bad. It has declined significantly over the last nearly four years under Labor. So it is worse now than it was nearly four years ago. So the point here is, again, there's a lot of noise from Labor about how great they are on doing this and how great they are on doing that, but they actually can't run the rail system properly. They can't run the tram system properly. And the truth of the matter is on buses, which have got a critical role to play in our public transport system in the city. Patronage on suburban buses is falling. Now, you know, really, massive population growth, and you've actually got a decline in the patronage on uh, our public bus system. So that's actually the true performance of Labor. Look at the actual numbers that are published in the budget, and you will actually see that bus performance has fallen. Um, I make these points because people need to understand that the challenges we face are real, but Labor, whatever their rhetoric, cannot actually deliver practical performance. And you actually need reliable trains, punctual trains, reliable buses, punctual buses, and that is not what is being delivered at the moment. We're committed, as I say, to a balanced uh, development. We have made announcements about road projects. We have uh, supported the North East Link. We understand the importance of that road project. We did not support the Westgate um, Tunnel project. We think it was the wrong project. However, the facts of the matter are that that project is now being delivered and we actually need to embrace that and use it for what advantages it can bring for our city. We think it's a mistake not to have the major roads connected and have obviously made announcements to that effect.